Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running ARIA 2 Web UI on Windows. To get started, download the latest ARIA 2 build for Windows, as well as ARIA 2 Web UI from GitHub. Navigate to your downloads directory and extract the downloaded ARIA 2 Web UI zip file. Then extract the downloaded ARIA 2 zip file. Rename the extracted folder to just ARIA2. Then cut the renamed ARIA2 folder and navigate to C Program Files and paste it here. Navigate into the ARIA2 folder, then while holding Shift, right click and select Open PowerShell window here. Run the command to start a temporary ARIA2 server. Back in File Explorer, navigate back to your downloads and into the extracted Web UI folder. Inside the Docs subfolder, open index.html in a web browser. Select Settings, Connection Settings from the top navigation. Enter the secret token set when starting the ARIA2 server. Then click Save Connection Configuration. After a moment, ARIA2 Web UI should connect to the ARIA2 server. Now let's take it a step further and set it up so the ARIA2 server starts at System Boot. In File Explorer, navigate back to C Program Files ARIA2 and create a new text file called ARIA2.conf. Then edit the new file in a text editor. Copy the ARIA2 server configuration from the video description. Editing the default download location and RPC secret is needed. Save the changes to ARIA2.conf and close the text editor. Next, using File Explorer, make sure the default download directory exists or create it if needed. Now we'll create a scheduled task to start the ARIA2 server on System Boot. Click the Start button and search for Task. Then select Task Scheduler from the results. Right click on Task Scheduler Library in the left navigation, then select Create Basic Task. Name the task ARIA2 and click Next. Select When the Computer Starts and click Next. Leave Start a Program selected and click Next. Paste the path from the video description to the ARIA2C.exe file. Then in the Arguments field, add the path to the comp file. Then click Next. Then click Finish to create the basic task wizard. Right click on the ARIA2 task and select Properties. Click the Change User or Group button, then type System and press Enter. Check the Run with Highest Privileges box, then click OK. Open Task Manager and kill the running ARIA2C.exe process on the Details tab. Then right click on the ARIA2 scheduled task and select Run. Now the ARIA2 server is running from the scheduled task as the system user. Back in the web browser, we can now use ARIA2 Web UI as a web-based download manager, with the downloaded files going to our default download directory.